Madrid and we don't really have like a plan for today. We're just going wherever the wind takes us. So today we're not going to be doing much walking like compared to the other previous we're days. We're going to Peppa Pig. Yeah, we're going to go to Peppa Pig. Then I'm going to go to my very first Sephora ever. It's located near Puerto del the Sol. Pepe. And then yeah, we're going to see her favorite Peppa Pig which she has been screaming for since yesterday so i hope you guys enjoy today's vlog and let's go yay going to peppa pig hi na bai san da bai we going to peppa pig watch you enjoy see you later Plaza Mayor, it's one of the biggest uh, central square here in Madrid. We are actually right in the, more or less, in the center of Madrid. So we just came from Plaza Mayor. It would have been nicer if it wasn't under construction, but they're fixing a lot of things. So we just left that place and now we're going to be going to Puerto del Sol because Peppa Pig is there and Peppa Pig is Bella's favorite cartoon. So we're going to be going there. But I think before that we're going to stop by a museum. Not quite sure but I'm going to show you guys. Just light snacks kasi hindi pa pala to lunch. Kumain na pa ako yung lunch. At the Rea made sinigang at home. So after this, we're gonna go to Peppa Orange. And then I'm gonna shop in Sephora. Ito yung kinuha ko. Ham and cheese na The malnourished Winnie the Pooh. Huh? Finally going to my most awaited place ever, which is Sephora. So excited to buy makeup and everything. This is my first time in Sephora. I'm happy, I'm excited. I feel like I'm gonna spend a lot, but it's okay. Ham and breadsticks, and then calamari, and of course, I have my coke. So, we're here in Cafe Los Angeles. So, we just got home, and um, I didn't get to vlog 
a lot right after I got to Sephora because my camera was dying and we didn't really do much anyways. We just went around the plaza. So I'm just going to show you guys quickly what I bought inside Sephora. So this is the free bag that I got. I actually got a lot of freebies from them which I will show you guys in a bit. So I'm going to first show you guys... Um, I'm gonna first show you guys the things that I got for free. So I got a lot of things for free. So first is this mask. And then I got a bunch of stuff from the brand Clarence. This, oops. This is a package of a lot of hydrating. Um, most of, mostly skincare products from Clarence. So we have the Recharge. Reboost, refresh, remove um, line. So it's this one right there. I don't know if you guys can you know, I don't know if you guys can see that. I got two of these. Um, these ones right here. These ones are the clay mask, the Sephora blue clay mask. So I got two of those. Um, I got a little sample of this one right here. Airborean Korean Skin Therapy Yuza Sorbet. So this one is a vitamin featherweight emulsion radiance and revitalized skin effect. So it's kind of like a skin booster, I think. Um, then I got two of the two of the Super Berry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask from Youth to the People. So this one right here, I got two of those. Again, guys, these are only freebies I'm showing you, and that's this is a lot. So then we have this Clarence again. This is a pouch. It's like a velvet pouch, so it's really high quality. So we have the Clarence One Step Gentle Exfoliating Cleanser. And then we have the toning lotion with the chamomile extract for normal and dry skin so this one right there i can definitely use it since i am dry skin i do have dry skin sorry and lastly we have the clarence paris sos pure rebalancing clay mask this one right there so i actually got a lot of clay masks um i'm not really a big user of clay masks but I can definitely try these out so I got a lot of stuff like oops right inside so the first thing is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and I got the shade sand and then the Charlotte Tilbury air brush flawless finish in the shade i think this is in the shade medium so this is the powder and then another product from Too Faced i got the better than sex mascara this is very comparable to the mascara that i currently use which is the l'oreal volume slash paradise mascara i think they have the same packaging so i might do a review comparing the two i'm not quite sure yet but i'm going to but i am going to do a tutorial using these products because obviously i want to show you guys how they work and then i have the huda beauty 3d highlighter palette this one right here it's not focusing okay there this one right here, this is the Bronze Sands Edition. I got very overwhelmed inside Sephora because it was my very first time going inside a Sephora store and I didn't know it would be that overwhelming like with all the brands that I know all in one place so I didn't know what to buy. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. This has SPF 15 in it. Hopefully that is focused. Um, I got the full-sized pack because I hear a lot of good things about this and it's very moisturizing, hydrating, and also when I was um, testing it at the back of my hand, it felt really, really nice. So I got the full-size one because we don't have this in the Philippines and it's really hard to find. So I got myself one of these. And then we have the Tarte High Performance Natural Amazonian Clay 12-Hour Full Coverage foundation and i got the shade deep golden 
And then I got two pairs of the Samantha Lash. Samantha number no. 7 Lash by Huda Beauty. Does this have a shade? Uh, this is just the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. So, this is how they look like. And then, um, the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remaster Palette. You probably know how this looks like already. I got that, and then I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Re Renaissance Palette. And then, what else? Um, I got the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I actually used this like about three years ago. Um, I bought this off of Sephora Philippines the first time I tried it. And then I kind of finished it already, so I got another... Um, another product of this because I remembered I really really loved how this felt on my skin and how it gave my face like a lot of radiance. I also got this in the beauty to go section. It's where they display a lot of like sample size products um, along the counter. So I definitely got the things that I wanted you know. So I got the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask to clear pores. So again, it's just a really mini sample size. And we're almost done, guys. We're almost done. Um, I got the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Powder in the shade Blonde. So this is the shade Blonde. It's kind of like a banana, banana color. I really like the effect of banana powders underneath my eyes because for me, it just brightens up my skin and then it just goes well with my skin tone. And then we have the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Primer. Again, I bought this off of the Beauty To Go section along the cashier. It's for Sally Oil. I have been wanting to try this for a really long time. Because you know, you know the videos you see on Instagram, like the beauty videos where they like make them go down their cheeks or whatever. And it looks really magical and nice. So I got that. We have the oh we have the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Medium Tan Sand and also Medium Tan Golden. And then last two products is the Makeup Forever Aqua Brow in brown or dark brown. And lastly, I have the Tarte Maracuja Oil. So another oil, very good for the dry skin girls. So that is it with my Sephora bag. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I'm gonna end the vlog right here. So we're about to eat dinner. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And you can check out my other vlogs down below. And if you are not part of the family yet, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And you can also hit the bell button to be notified every time I upload a video. <sighs> I'm really tired like I just want to sleep and eat and move my makeup and everything so again guys I hope I see you guys in the next video and good night bye